Smita Gurgutia, attached with Bhagirathi Neutra Women and Child Care Center for more than 10 years and practicing in my own clinics. Uh, today, we are going to talk about fibroids, which is an important and, ex and exceptionally common presentation which women come to us with. What are fibroids? Fibroids, kya hai? Fibroids, they are just small tumors of the uterus which can happen in any woman of the reproductive age group. Reproductive age group, I mean after 15 to say about 50, 55. Now, are they very dangerous? No, usually fibroids are not dangerous as far as being cancerous is concerned. They can be dangerous because of their other issues, but not usually they do not turn malignant. Uh, who gets them? Yes, anybody can get them and out of the blue, we really don't know why people get fibroids. Though certain exposure to estrogen hormones like some medicines that you might be taking off and on can make you prone to get fibroids. What are the symptoms? How do we know that I have fibroids? Fibroids would mainly present with us with three types of symptoms. One, it could present with menstrual irregularities like heavy periods, painful periods, more frequent periods, etc. Other could be pressure symptoms like uh, urinary frequency, difficulty in passing urine or feeling lump or heaviness in the lower abdomen. Third symptom could be fertility related. Some fibroids make it a little difficult for you to conceive or carry your pregnancy comfortably. How do we treat and who needs treatment? Treatment, basically, treatment options, there are multiple options available. Who needs treatment depends on what symptoms you're presenting with, what is the age that you're coming in with, whether you're desirous of fertility or not, and what is the location and size of the fibroids. So these are my deciding factors telling you on how to go about treating your fibroids. But believe me, most fibroids will not need any treatment. We can just observe them because if they're very small fibroids and they're not growing at all, then you don't really need to do anything about it. So next we talk about what kinds of treatments are possible. If it's a tumor, is it always a surgery which is necessary? No, never. Only if the tumors are more than 4 cm or if they are causing you symptoms, that is when we come to a point where we want to treat you. The treatment options we can divide into three major categories. One of them is conservative, wherein we use certain medications or injections which are given to you routinely for a period of three to six months, sometimes even more, up to a year, wherein these fibroids are supposed to shrink and definitely thereby reduce your symptoms. Just to tell you something about medical management, it is usually not a permanent method of treatment. This is kind of a temporary treatment, wherein we tied over the problems that you have been caused because of the fibroids. The next kind of treatment, which is a relatively new method and it's not usually available in all the hospitals in and around the country, is called uterine artery embolization, wherein we block the blood vessels which supply blood flow to the fibroid. What happens when the blood flow is blocked? The fibroid slowly dies and thereby reduces its size. Thus, your symptoms are taken care of. So, basically, it's not a surgery, but it is kind of a semi-surgical treatment that is available. The third option is a surgical treatment, where we can do two kinds of surgeries. One is, we can remove the fibroids only, or if your symptoms are such and your age group is such, where you do not need to conserve the uterus, sometimes we would suggest you to remove the uterus also. Now removing the fibroids, how do we go about removing the fibroids? So we remove fibroids by three major methods. The first one and the most popular and the most comfortable treatment for you is laparoscopic fibroid removal. It is also called laparoscopic myomectomy. That is where we make three or more holes in your tummy and try to remove the fibroids from the uterus through these small holes. The most important advantage is that it, you recover easily, you recover faster, it is less scarring, it's less painful and definitely more comfortable to you. The other method is hysteroscopic removal wherein we put cameras inside your uterus through the natural orifice that's the vagina and remove the fibroids through waves so there are no cuts on the tummy. 
The other method is open mammoting. This we resort to only if the fibroid has grown like extremely big, more than a five month pregnancy, etc. So that's when we do a open mammoting, which is like a cesarean section cut, low down in your tummy, and we remove the fibroid through that. Hysterectomy. Hysterectomy is removal of the uterus, which also could be done laparoscopically or by cutting you open. So this is all for today. Don't get scared of fibroids. All fibroids don't need treatment. And when they do, we would discuss with you the best possible management for you. Thank you.